In this tutorial, I want to show you guys how to clean up or remove folds and wrinkles from your studio backdrops in Photoshop. I recently did a search on YouTube about the different ways to clean up a uh, backdrop, but I had to invent my own method because I'm going to be using a method or technique known as frequency separation to clean up this backdrop in just Photoshop. So, assuming that most of you guys have maybe the frequency separation action, you can simply just go to that action and just play it. So I'm just going to go to my actions and I play my frequency separation action. So just going to come right here. I'm going to play my 16 bit. So it doesn't, the bit ratio or the bit depth of your image doesn't determine the results for cleaning up the backdrop. So don't mind about this. So when it brings up this window right here, you have to look for the area that has those folds so for this case we have these folds right here so i think you have to move the radius up to a point when you're losing out on the details in these folds right here or this dot right here on the backdrop so i'm just going to start moving this radius so we are basically going to do retouching for this backdrop i think at around eight i've lost out on the details are in the backdrop and these are losing out on the focus so just going to come and hit ok for my action continue playing but as usual my frequency passion action has the black and white layer so just going to turn this off so after the action has finished or finished playing simply come and select the low frequency layer remember that that is part of the colors in the image so you have to select the layer that is containing that that or that color that you want to eliminate from this image. So after you have done that, simply come under the brushes and right click and get your mixer brush tool. So this is the mixer brush tool right here. So we want to set up this brush so that it's going to flatten or remove the wrinkles and at the same time removing the dirt from this very image so let's set it up so for those who have always asked me about the hardness for my brush it is simple hardness is zero so meaning it is a soft brush so the settings i make sure that it is a clean brush as usual then we have two options right here we have load the brush after each and every stroke and i also have clean the brush after each and every uh, each and every stroke rather so what i mean is when you are trying to clean up this backdrop you don't want to carry for example color from the shadow area and we put it on the highlight area that's why we want to select this very second option then i have the wetness so this wetness is the one going to determine how smooth your backdrop is going to be at the end of uh, the retouching process so just going to come right here and I make sure the wetness, I'm going to be using a wetness of around, I'm going to be using a wetness of around 22 for this case because I don't want to make the backdrop really plastic. Hit enter, then load is 75, mix 90 and the flow 100. Make sure sample alias is not checked or marked because we only want to deal with the colors in this backdrop. So the colors may contain maybe the dirt and other random colors that we just want to blend into the backdrop and smoothen them out and blend them into the backdrop so, so that we can have a seamless backdrop at the end of this very tutorial. So other tutorials on YouTube were basically focusing on first of all selecting the subject and doing all those other adjustments but this one after you have set up your um, mixer brush tool, the next step is going to be simply painting over those wrinkles or that that in the image. So I'm just going to zoom in so that you guys can have or can see this very well. So you can reduce on the size of the mixer brush tool by using the box brackets on the keyboard. So when you left click and hold down and you move over this wrinkle, you're going to notice that it is just gone with just a simple movement of the brush over it. So I'm just going to 
come and start painting over these wrinkles right there and you can see it is cleaning them up very easily so just come and paint just like that so don't mind if at all some are remaining because you're going to be tackling or handling all that after we have cleaned up this so just come in so when it comes to the bottom side of the backdrop remember the way light is falling on this backdrop it is moving in the direction the backdrop is flowing so for this case it is well or you can simply move your mixer brush tool up and down and it's going to be doing a very nice job for you but when it comes to this side for example where we have the fold for the backdrop what you have to do you have to move the brush in that direction just like that to follow the flow of the backdrop so you have to move uh, with the flow just like that so let's just come this side and we do the same so we are basically moving uh, with the flow of uh, the backdrop just like that so when it comes this side on the front area remember the backdrop is moving like this so it is folding in this manner so i'm just going to come and continue moving now the backdrop the way i was moving it on this other background layer so i'm just going to come and move it in this direction just like that and you can see that it is really doing a pretty nice job so let's zoom out and we see what we have done so far this is the before and the after before after so you have to take your time while cleaning up this like i usually say or tell you guys so come and continue eliminating or removing these folds from the backdrop just like that increase on the size and just continue moving with the flow just like that you have to move with the flow while cleaning up the backdrop just like that and it is going to be seamless at at the end of your movement so i'm just going to increase on the size so you can see that we have this shadow right here so we don't want to mess up that just going to move it up and down and if at all i want to eliminate this line i'm going to move this mixer brush tool i'm just going to make it a little bit smaller and move it in an up down kind of formation to smoothen out on this wrinkle right here so remember what you have to notice when cleaning up at uh, the backdrop you have to ensure that every tiny spot has been catered for we don't want to leave out on some areas so just come and eliminate those all that that from those areas so just come and also cater for the shadows in the backdrop so just do that you can as well st start with removing uh, those harsh folds because when we are doing the frequency separation or cleaning up using the mixer brush tool uh, we tend to only flatten out those tiny wrinkles that are in the backdrop so you can come right in the middle end continue smoothening out uh, those wrinkles so the other trick i want to share with you guys is when it comes to these big or prominent uh, folds you can simply increase on the wetness and you can come back and try and see if at all it is going to try to eliminate and it is not eliminating because uh, these folds are part of texture in the backdrop so just going to decrease and you can see that we have done a pretty nice job with just painting and you can do this faster if at all you're making a tutorial if at all you're not making a tutorial rather like the way i am doing right now so just come and paint over just like that so for these wrinkles that may be remaining in your image what you have to do to cater for them simply come to the texture layer and you can get maybe the patch tool and simply select those wrinkles just left click and select them and drag them to the area that has no wrinkles in the backdrop just like that and you can see that it is really doing a very 
great and wonderful job to clean up or remove these I call them stubborn wrinkles because most of them have been gotten rid of but uh, these ones are really stubborn for this case so let's just clean up this and so you have to take your time like I always say when removing these stubborn ones so just come and select and move to a cleaner area so left click and draw over the wrinkles and move them to a cleaner area to clean up the backdrop so basically we are doing backdrop retouching so just come and do this and you can come right here and clean up that tiny one so you can see that the backdrop is now looking nice and really seamless so let's see the before and after for this backdrop we have a tiny wrinkle right here just move it to a cleaner area to get rid of it so let's see the overall before and after for cleaning up this backdrop so this was the image initially before and this is the after before after before after we still have the original details in the backdrop but it is now looking really nice and seamless so basically this is how to clean up as a backdrop using frequency separation and the mixer brush tool plus integrating uh, the patch tool or whichever tool you want to remove uh, those stubborn or harsh wrinkles from the backdrop i'm ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet another trailer. and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating